portion of this video is sponsored by Viator. How's it going, everybody? I'm Nikki Delventhal, and this is my dog, Camper Delventhal. We lived in a Prius full-time for three years, but now we're in a 4x4 Sprinter. And we're here to take you along on the wild ride. So fasten up your seatbelts and let's have some fun. Don't forget, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends and turn on notifications. Camper and I would be so thankful. On last week's episode, Camper and I spend our last days at the shop after finally finishing some major upgrades on our van. Then we head out to meet our friend Chad, but of course we had to stop at the dog beach along the way. The three of us do some stealth camping by the water, we have dinner, watch the fireworks, and even have a little dance party. We leave off heading to the mountains to meet a group of van lifers where we'd spend some quality time with our new friends. Oh, are you going to bring your stick to him? Excuse me. Wake up, please. I'm waiting. <laughs> oh. Go get her! Go get her! Good morning, Nikita! <laughs> Go say hi! Camper came over this morning, hung out with me for a little bit. Of course he did, because you're dumb. Best bad dog saying hi to everybody. Ever. So I didn't know where Camper was, but we found him. Camper, do you miss being in the Prius? Oh yeah, that was cozy. Love you guys! <laughs> I love you! <laughs> that was so nice getting to know everyone, but also having a sense of community, which is something that you can really lack in this type of lifestyle. So I'm feeling so energized, uh, but I'm also feeling like we need to find a body of water because we're not quite ready to go into a city yet. And yesterday, somebody rolled around in poison oak. Uh, so we had to use like 80% of our water supply just to wash off and scrub, praying that the rash doesn't show up, uh, considering I still have a rash from four weeks ago. So <laughs> here we are. We are going to get down off this mountain and use Google satellite to find ourselves a swimming hole. Uh, so let's hope we have some luck. You ready to hit the road? Of course you are. Jackpot. All right, we're not alone, but I think that means we made the right decision because this place must be epic if there's more cars. Let's go. I am so excited. Let's go exploring. This is steep, but that watering hole looks worth it. You can see it right there. The path is a little gnarly over here, so we are going to shoot down this way and see if it gets a little bit more dog friendly. Here I am worried about my dog, and he's just going back and forth. All right, I think this is where we're gonna lay down for the day. All right, camp, what do you say we do some exploring? <laughs> I'm sliding. Trying to find a way around, but I don't see any paths. Pretty much just trying to get a nice little view of over here. 
I guess we're still playing follow the camper. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie you guys, this climb is pretty terrifying and I feel like the way down is just gonna be just as scary if not scarier. But we are determined to get to a viewpoint. <sighs> we did it, we made it to the top. This is amazing. Look at this view. Those kids saw me filming and they waved and I said, you wanna be on YouTube? And they said, get down here. Oh God, I don't know how we're gonna get down there though, but we're gonna try. Wow, I've got a mountain goat dog. This is great. We found it, but this is scary. Come on, camp. I'm not worried about camper, I'm worried about me. These kids are absolutely nuts. I could jump from like 10 feet. So these guys have come around here and they said we picked the perfect spot, so we did good today. See ya! Yeah. Have fun! We're working on Camper and making him a water boy. We are doing so good. Good job! Nothing makes me happier than fresh water and hanging with my dog. This is incredible. One thing about filming our adventures is that we're never totally present in the moment. So I'm gonna take the next few hours to just enjoy and go swimming with no camera, and then we'll meet you back at the van. Load up, mister. Good boy. I love that. He is always like totally amped and ready for adventure. What a good dog. All right, let's get some light in here. You guys, San Diego has been such a dream this week. I even booked a tour through Viator with my girlfriend, Nikita, and we had such a blast. Which by the way, thank you to Viator for sponsoring a portion of today's video. In case you didn't know, Viator is the world's largest experience marketplace. And they have everything from simple tours to huge adventures and everything in between. For my friend Nikita and I, I booked us an evening Globo pedal ride tour for three to explore the harbor. It really was the best. Not only did the vibes of the glow boats totally make the scene, we had views of the San Diego skyline. We went searching for sea lions and found some and just laughed the night away underneath the stars. I highly recommend Viator. It is super easy to search, book, and with their free cancellation policy and the fact that you can reserve now and pay later, it is so flexible. Just visit Viator.com to explore over 300,000 travel experiences you'll remember. Now on that note, it's time to change out of this bathing suit. All right, well now that we got our shower down, it is time to find a place to sleep. Whoop. And these are all forest roads, so there's gotta be something good around here. All right, so we're gonna find a nice level spot here and we're gonna make it so we can't be blocked in. We also purposely put ourselves behind these bushes because our neighbors are on the other side so they can't see us. Yep, this looks good to me. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Okay, it seems that my dog is allergic to a lot of the stuff in this area or it's residual from literally snorting it at the watering hole. And he kept putting his face right in it. So 
We're going to take a little time, see if that's it. I'm setting up my air purifier. Maybe that'll help him. And uh, in the meantime, we're going to make some dinner while we evaluate if we have to move. We are literally running out of food. All we have is vegetables that I already cooked. Oh, I love that stuff. Beans. Garbanzo beans. <sighs> yes. I love having a van because now I eat so much hot food. I went like three years without eating hot food when I lived in a Prius. Dinner in bed. Oh, wow, you guys. I was working and then I blinked and it got dark out. I guess we missed the sunset, but that's okay. Camper, you wanna go outside and go potty and get to bed? It's so beautiful out here. Good morning, camper. Oh, come here, are you okay? I think it's time to leave this spot. My dog is officially allergic to this area. So we're gonna hurry up and get out of here. All right, we have got to do some major cleanup, laundry, and errands. Oh boy. I've also been attempting to upload a video for four days straight now. None of my internet sources are working, so we might have to find a place to do that. All right, come on, Sneezy, let's get out of here. Go ahead. Good boy. First stop, coffee. Obviously, we're going to a dog-themed coffee shop. Have a good one. Thank you. Like clockwork, go in for coffee, come out with everything that I can't fit in my van, but it's so cute. Hey, good boy. Look at all the good stuff we got. This is from an artist. This is for our keys, but you might think it's a toy. You want to try my backpack? All right, maybe you will look good in the backpack. Oh, you look nice with that backpack camper. That shop is dangerous because it's two of my favorite things, which is local coffee and boutique shopping. Give me a bigger rig and I will fill the space. I feel like no matter what you give me, I'll fill the space. <laughs> All right, next errand. Let's hit it. All right, we're going to continue down the road for dog food. Right up there. Hey there. Hey there. Thank you. Have a good one. All right, good boy. Let's fill up that freezer. Woo! Putting our hands on some raw meat here. Oh boy. These are big patties, much bigger than I expected. So when I have the time and the resources, I will try to make camper raw food. Uh, but something else I'll do, which is really easy, is I'll have organic raw patties with the organs, all that stuff, and everything he needs. This guy's gonna live forever. All right, next up. You know, living in a vehicle, yes, many days can have beautiful sunsets and all different scenery and really can be this like epic vacation. But truthfully, it needs to be balanced out with days like this where things are much more of a process than if you are in a home. She's looking mighty fine. <sighs> what to do next? Time to get the poison oak oils off of us.
In case you're wondering what $60 and quarters looks like. Little breakfast lunch while we wait. All right. Woo. We've got laundry done, which means hopefully no poison oak shows up on the next few days. It's been like 24, 48 hours, and I think we're in the clear. <laughs> next up, Wi-Fi and water. Oh my God, these guys are the best. Hi, you guys are saving my life. Thank you for the internet. I think we have a bigger problem than I thought. I think he might have a foxtail lodged in his nose. I uh, did some more research and I was wrong. Um, so we are gonna go to the vet. <laughs> I just called and waiting for two callbacks to see if we can get an appointment. All right, we got a 20 minute drive to the emergency vet clinic. So we'll see you there. This is Camper. Still smelling, still being crazy. You ready, good boy, come on. Wow, you guys, so I had never heard of foxtail before until a local told me about it. So um, yeah, apparently it's a lot more serious than I thought. And this could be a really tough procedure for Camper. This sucks. I feel so bad. I feel like I should have known like poor guy that he has to go through this but i guess you live and you learn so for anyone out there foxtails are extremely dangerous and i had no idea so if you see anything that looks like it keep your dogs away from it or look it up hopefully it'll save you a lot of time money and stress on your dog <sighs> okay more errands in the meantime Oh my goodness, you guys, I'm so excited. So the doctor just called, they did find it. It wasn't too late, so they took it out. They actually saved it for us so we could see it. I think that is so funny, but oh my God, I feel like the whole world has been lifted off my shoulders. Camper's okay. Uh, they're just gonna watch him for the next hour since he is still a little sleepy from the procedure. Um, Oh my god, I'm so happy. He's gonna be fine and we don't have to worry about another surgery. Ah! And we're back. Going to get the camper boy. Hi, good boy. Oh my gosh, I miss you. Are you so sedated? How do the foxtails get in their nose like that? Is that oh, normal? Yeah, sometimes it happens um, because that little edge, or like the little tip of it is so small. And because the rest of it's pronged, it just keeps going deeper and deeper. That's a good boy. Yes. Good job. Oh man, you're walking sideways. Come on, baby. Do you want to go potty? Boy, is this what laughing gas is like for dogs? Good boy. 